Always look on the bright side of life. Whiskers busted. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Contest Chair, esteemed members and most welcome guests, what if you hate lemonade? If you have doors closing and opening on their own, your house is probably haunted. <laughs> and that light at the end of the tunnel may just be a train coming right at you. These optimistic phrases that I just stated are often repeated to us during times of woe to help us see the good in a bad situation, which is a fantastic thing to do. But there is an underlying tone that we should accept these situations rather than try to change them. For often it is easier to look for a silver lining than it is to challenge a situation. Unfortunately, this can lead to a phenomenon known as learned helplessness, wherein when we are exposed to bad situation after bad situation that we don't try to change, we begin to believe that we can't change them. We see them as insurmountable, and we stop trying. We tell ourselves, that's life. Look on the bright side. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Well, I say no. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take those lemons back. <laughs> Get angry. I don't want your darn lemons. What the heck am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. <laughs> make life rue the day it thought it could give you lemons. But we tell ourselves, it's too hard nothing I can do about it. I should just give up. Is it really too hard? Is there really nothing that we can do? These, my friends, are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. I've done a little research and I want to share a few thoughts with you today. There once was this composer by the name of Beethoven. Maybe some of you have heard of him. During the height of his career, he began to lose his hearing, something many would consider vital to be a composer. He could have said, look on the bright side. At least I have so many wonderful works under my belt. But no, he took those lemons and he told life to shove them where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> he sawed off the legs of his piano so he could feel the vibrations through the floor, and he wrote his ninth symphony, arguably one of his best works of which he never heard a single note of. Then there was this lady by the name of Helen Keller, who at 19 months old went blind and deaf. Life had essentially given her an entire bucket of lemons. But she didn't let that stop her. Oh no. She lit those lemons on fire and she burned life's house down. She learned to communicate with the outside world, became an advocate for people with disabilities, and other liberal causes, co-founded the American Civil Liberties Union and the Helen Keller International Organization, and so much more. And for all her work, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, was nominated to the Women's National Hall of Fame, and had a day commemorated to her by President Jimmy Carter. Lastly, I'd like you to think about all of the minority groups in the past and present that have been persecuted were their race, their religion, their sex, and their sexual orientation. Where do you think they would be if they accepted life's limits? Where do you think that they would be if they didn't fight for their right of equality? Now you might be asking, what gives me the authority to speak on this subject? Well, like many of you, I'm sure, Life has given me plenty of lemons in the past. When I was younger, I suffered from severe social anxiety that progressively got worse as I got older, to the point that when I graduated high school, I withdrew from the world and lived like a hermit for almost a decade. I was eating life's lemons raw. Well, one day I got tired. I took those lemons and I threw them in the trash. I forced myself to change. I moved to Southern California, 
enrolled in college, and pushed myself into social situations. And you know what happened? The fear started to go away. Years ago, I withered in my self-imposed prison. Today, I have a great job, a beautiful wife, and a fantastic life. Sometimes in our lives, there will be situations that we feel we can't overcome. But the only way for us to truly fail is if we never try at all. I'm going to leave you with one question. And is my heartfelt wish that all of you consider when life gives you lemons, what are you going to do with them? Mr. Contest, check